I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is Daniel Diaz. He is Chief Marketing Officer at Magic Leap. Daniel, wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me on the floor. Gee, you're very welcome. It's good to see you again. It's great to see you again. Now, before we get started, quick note to viewers, this interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, Daniel, so tell me, what's Magic Leap? So Magic Leap is a technology company. We're based in South Florida, and we build augmented reality headsets, which basically allow you to integrate digital content into your physical world. So unlike VR, where you kind of are completely occluded or blocked from seeing the physical world and you see digital content, augmented reality lets you place content in the world that's relevant and it will stick there and stay there. So if I want to have a 3D model of um, uh, an airplane so I can show someone how to fix it, or I want to affix a Bloomberg terminal to my screen so I can absolutely you know, see it all the time while I'm trading and getting all my information, augmented reality lets you do that while still letting you see the rest of your world. All right, and Daniel, you're launching a product today. Tell me about that. Yes, today we're launching the Magic Leap 2, which is the augmented reality device we've purpose-built for businesses and enterprise. And so it's meant to really augment the ability of professionals to do their job better. It's really interesting that we're in this age where we have so much access to so much data and the ability to crunch that data and form insights, but we're always asking someone to look away from the task at hand to actually access it, right? If you're a pilot, you have to look away at these small screens to get the data you need to, to you know, place yourself in, in space. If you're a, a surgeon and you're in an operating room, you have to look away at these screens to see heart rate or an MRI scan. Augmented reality lets you place that content overlaid into the physical world so I can still concentrate on what I'm doing and still get all that incredible data I need at the same time. All right, so augmented reality, it's important to business. It's very important yeah. to business. I mean, we see it being a massive disruptor to the way people do business. So if you think about, so healthcare, huge disruptor. We have companies who are really just changing the way doctors can navigate the human body. They can uh, catheterize a patient and instead of looking at a 2D screen while they try to figure out where the catheter is going, we can actually recreate the arterioles and arteries of the heart and watch that catheter go in live and so they can really get much more precise about how they're doing what they're doing. They can plan surgery on 3D models built off of MRIs. They can overlay those models and surgical pathways onto a patient live and then operate and use it as a guide. That's, it's really going to transform medicine in ways that we've never seen. I think you know, we, we say that 10 years from now we're going to look back and be like, can you believe surgeons actually operated without using these things? Uh, for manufacturing, I think for training and helping guide people on how to actually do their job to um, keep employees up to date on, on all the latest updates on machinery and procedures to reduce waste, it's a massive, massive help. And then in the defense space, we see it, again, as a, a great training tool for first responders, firefighters, police, uh, the armed forces. It's really going to help change the way we plan and train for different scenarios in the real world. So how is Magic Leap 2 different from other technologies that are out there? Oh, that's a great question. So Magic Leap 2, we've expanded the field of view. So the field of view is the, is the area that you're looking at when you put the device on where you can actually place that digital content. And so some devices have a very small field of view, so you kind of feel like you're looking through a tube or a box. Magic Leap 2 has a 70 degree massive field of view, so you really feel like you're immersed in that digital content uh, while being in the physical world. It's got incredible text legibility, so it's you know it's really difficult to read when you're seeing augmented reality content. We've made it really, really good so that surgeons can look at it. You can look at a schematic and see all the writing and figuring out what it is you're supposed to be doing as far as following instructions. Um, the probably the best thing about Magic Leap 2 is that we've inc we've invented something called dynamic dimming. So we figured out a way to make augmented reality work in really brightly lit settings. So augmented reality is basically tricking your eye to believe that there's content in front of you that's not really there. And it does that by projecting light into your eye. So brightly lit environments make all that content look really washed out. So what we're able to do is actually fade the background of the real world so that the content becomes really solid and really bright and you can really focus on it. It's a first to market, no one else has it, and we're really excited. All right, so do you think Magic Leap 2 will be a part of the metaverse? Magic Leap 2 will definitely be a part of the metaverse. We, um, we see Magic Leap 2 as one of the most immersive windows into the metaverse. Right? The, the metaverse will be a place where you can integrate digital and physical content into the real world. That's where it's really going to be most exciting. And so you need a device that's really powerful that lets you see really sharp, crisp images and lets you interact with them in ways that, that feel real and natural. And that's what Magic Leap 2 does. It really lets you take full advantage of what the metaverse will be now.
Wow. Well, Daniel, congratulations on the launch. Thank you. And thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Really happy to be here. Thanks, Judy. Thanks.